this week on Not Your Average Fangirls. They were like, oh, no, she can't swear on her mom, but swear on Park Jean-Hee. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's going in deep. BTS does what they do best and top the charts for another week. Comebacks are filled with our favorites from survival shows, and the boys steal our hearts as we discuss their new mini album, Chase. Check it out. What's up, you guys? It is Not Your Average Fangirls. We are here with another week of K-pop-ness. It's your girl, Kat. And Mark did not reply to my text message, so I've officially cut him off. I just want everyone to know <laughs> that me and him are no longer best friends. You know, I thought we, we, you know, had a good relationship at KCON. We, like, locked eyes, and I thought, like, wow, like, that's my best friend now. And now he didn't reply to my text message, but it's fine, even though it was hilarious. It's cool. You know what? I'm not even going to – I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. Anyway. You brought it up. Yeah, after she talked about it. <laughs> uh, hey guys, it's Cynthia, and you know, she's been missing Raven a lot lately. That's it, as I always am. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Terika, and I would just like to say I'm so excited because the next pairing on It's Awkward But It's Okay is Johnny and Jamin, and I can't <laughs> handle it. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Dang. They catered that to Terika. I'm just going to be sobbing the whole time. They said this for Terika. <laughs> Johnny and Jamin looked at each other and said, should we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Instead of for the people, oh, it's that's for Terika. Oh, so funny. And hello, everybody. This is Carolina. Um, I just want to say that Luna is about to have a comeback and I get to wear my cape. Like, how amazing <laughs> is that? I'm so excited. <laughs> How cute would it have been if it was a cape for the for the light stick? Right, it would have been cute. Yeah. Now it's a cape for the Carolina, so enjoy that. Sad news to start off this week. <laughs> One of my biases is leaving me again. Jacef of Card is officially enlisting on the 5th of October. Ah. <sighs> uh, in spooky season. October's supposed to be my favorite month. But yeah, but Car, uh, Jacef is enlisting. I'm sorry. He's going to Hawaii for a bit. Taking some vacation. Going to Hawaii. He's going to strip the name Jaseph and be Kim Taehyung for two years. No. <laughs> and he's not Kim taking Kim his Jae-Hyung. buddy, his bro. He's so I sad. Know. <laughs> BM's like, nah, I got a U.S. citizenship. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he don't want to go. He just sad that the homie has to go. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't go yeah, either. You the do fuck? You. I'd be like, you know what? Nah, I'm good, fam. <laughs> yep. It's like, I don't got to go. Okay, then have fun. Bye-bye. Bye. I'll see Write you. Write me letters. <laughs> More exciting news, AT is my fucking Halloween kings. Uh, their second anniversary is coming up, so they are having yet another online concert that I'll probably yes. sleep through because that's just my brand. AT <laughs> uh, has only 20. been out for two years? Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like they've been longer. It's been a Duh. long two years. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's been forever just because they're like just kings at everything. That's why. Like, they're just so, yeah. they're just popping, so. When we saw them at KCON, it wasn't even, like, a year that they had debuted. It was a little under a year. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Besides that, we're really excited for AT's concert and their anniversary. Yes. Cause, Hopefully I don't sleep through this one. Um, either way, there's a, v- you know, you can rewatch it later, Kat. It's okay. <laughs> I know, but still, I just same. be forgetting about it. Yeah, and I be forgetting about it. And then I'm like, <laughs> like the Golden Child concert. Like, I have the VOD of that too, bitch. I have not watched it. I'm like, <laughs> paid money yeah. for this, and I have not watched a single thing. Like, the Ace concert will probably be the only show that I, like, wake up for. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I'm never going to, like, girl, the Victon Anniversary concert from, like, a year ago, I, me and Cynthia did not finish watching that, and I bought that shit with money. Okay, but like, <laughs> with I wasn't gonna be able to handle it. Like, I, we broke down like five minutes in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was too emotional. Anyway, straining. enough about emotionally exhausting concerts. Super M partnered with Marvel to make yes. cute ass shit that I cannot buy because they don't have it in my size. Fuck you, SM. Anyway, <laughs> but <laughs> the shirts are cute, and I want one, and I'm upset. They are cute, and I like it. And they're all, like, in comic book, like, shape. I'm just like, are they going to put Super M in the next comic comic book? shape? You mean form? I'm thinking, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They're in comic comic book book shape. shape. So I was like, what? (laughs) I 
like the shirt. I bought one of the shirts, but I have a bone to pick Lucky. with the shirt, though. Like, I bought it because it was cute, but I'm still mad about it because Black Panther is not on that shirt, Ooh. but Black Ooh. Widow, is that her name? That useless, useless Ew. lady? Yeah, she's on yeah. there. And I'm just like... The Russian. Oh. Yeah. So I just, like, they put all of them on there except for Black Panther, and I'm just really... And I know Lucas is upset as well. Like, I know he's mad. Like, he can't say he mad, <laughs> oh, but I, I feel know it. But it's fine. He said he even said it in the thing. He was just like, "Yeah, I wish we did, we could do a collab with Power Rangers." So from the get go, he was just like, "Man, fuck the superhero shit. I want the Power Rangers." He said, <laughs> "The go, Power, go, Power Rangers are Rangers. superheroes." <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? The superheroes from Marvel. He was just like, "No, like and we ain't actually, doing that." Actually, Terika, they're mighty morphing Power Rangers. Thank you. They're <laughs> <laughs> they are they're superheroes. Average- Heroes. They're they fight, average they teenagers in suits. They got powers. <laughs> they suits got powers. They fight in crime. They superheroes. If Batman can be a superhero, teenagers in suits. the Power Rangers can be a superhero. Batman is not a superhero. You know what? This is not a discussion we're having because Batman is not a superhero. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm saying anyway. I feel the same way, but like when you think of superheroes, people are like, oh, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man. So like he gets named. So I'm just saying, the Power Rangers are definitely superheroes. They were my superheroes when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> Anyways, the point is that Lucas said he would love to collab with the Power Rangers. And what I could think about was Super M in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers suits. And I was like, I'm here for this. But it wouldn't make sense. But we love Lucas for trying. It wouldn't make sense, but that's Lucas. It's Lucas. Does anything make sense? <laughs> it's like, we like, the Avengers of K-pop, so we're going to team up with Power Rangers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay i mean this move was amazing though i'm like you're right it was it was it was yeah Good marketing it was smart love that bts is taking over jim and fallon everybody why because jimmy fallon loves bts i guess apparently and bts loves jimmy fallon we love that for them we do love yep. that friendship it's great it's yeah. cute yeah i like them i think they're cute carolina freaked out because they were like a new song every week and she was like we gonna get new songs every week and i was like i don't think that's what yeah I no i think it's like a new performance as in yeah, like, yeah. exactly the false advertising is there the false advertising is there <laughs> but that's how they get you because i was long. ready i was like <laughs> i don't watch jimmy fallon ever in my life but bts about to perform a new song every day catch me watching it every day that's a lie i would have waited until the next day to watch it on youtube like it's just mm-hmm. yeah jimmy come on a little too late for me right now like i <laughs> It's my bedtime. I would have just waited. I would have just waited, yeah. But I'm excited for that. Like, they're literally going to be on there for, like, a whole week. And that's really cool. And I just love that they're just taking over everything. And everybody that talks shit, I'm just like, what now? They're in every fucking corner of your damn world. What now? Literally. What you gonna do? You cannot run away. You cannot When BTS you comes do, for you. What you gonna do when you come for <laughs> when you? When BTS, BTS comes BTS, for BTS, you. What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> and more BTS news. They also did a whole ass speech for God, the UN so General uh-huh. Assembly. <sighs> so good. Oh, Mom June, man. It was <sighs> so sad, but so uplifting. Yeah. Like, you know it was all over the place when my mom looked at me and she was like, Kat, did you see BTS in the UN? And I was like... Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you, mother. Now I'm just looking like a snack. And didn't June like get like kind of emo talking about it too? Like they yeah. all did. Like yeah. it was like sad and like depressing. It was but also, like like I said, uplifting. And like he was mm-hmm. so passionate. And he was so like like we are BTS and we are honored <laughs> to be here. I was like, oh my god, like <laughs> my I president. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was like oh. I'm June for president. <laughs> For real, please. Literally, whatever country you run for president in, not Kim Nam Joon. Kim Nam We June. say this. What? What just fucking manifest Kim Nam Joon running for president? Like when his idol years are over and he's like old, he's gonna be a politician and he's gonna be like, I'm running for president of Korea. I'm gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm be like, oh my god. <laughs> we manifested that in the podcast, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. oh, we've we've always been like president, please, <laughs> the president. Um, you know who else wants to be a politician? Jay, <laughs> get out! Like, get yeah. out! Yeah, and then he realized he's like, "Oh, I was born in Argentina. <laughs> I can't." That was, that, was me. that was what was stopping him because he was born yeah. in Argentina. Erica said that, that was, was the protected. only reason he thought <laughs> he's a lot smarter than you think he is, Terika. God, I didn't say he was dumb. You don't have to. I didn't say that. I just said he ain't a politician. 
Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Was he gonna quote tweet someone's tweet and be like, "Fuck you"? <laughs> right. I don't want to see this in my country. And then everyone's like, Phew. "Yeah." You want to know what else sucks? A fifty dollar album, BTS. <laughs> You're right. Boy, We're in a I pandemic. That link, and I saw that price. I was like, "Excuse me." For <laughs> why? <laughs> what is this? Is this a DVD as well? Is this like their entire discography? I just <laughs> leading up to now. Since when are these albums fifty dollars? Like I feel like now they're running with it. They're just like, well, we're BTS, so we can make you know we can yeah, price anything how we bold. however we want. And I was just like, hold on, y'all getting bold right now? We in a pandemic, like acting like we didn't order it <laughs> that day. <laughs> but I'm so confused. Because it said it had two versions, but, like, you only have one option. So what I'm thinking from what I read is that there's two photo books. So it's, like, a whole box. And there's, like, two photo books, like, a video. Like, a uh, not a video, but, this, you know, the CD, whatever. Like, photo cards, postcards, posters. Like, it all comes in that box. So it's, like, I guess it's two versions, but it's all together in one. And you get, like, all members photo cards instead of just like one or two. Oh, do you? I thought it said one out of no. I think it said eight each. Oh, okay. I mean that's fine. I was I like I don't know why I'm complaining because I was gonna buy that shit anyway. But like, <laughs> I'm so You're mad. Right. <laughs> yeah we can still be mad as we swipe our credit card. <laughs> Exactly. That's literally a tweet I saw. She was like, so BTS expect me to pay $54 in the middle of a global pandemic with my student loans pending and my credit card maxed out. Well, they are fucking right that I'm going to do it, but I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad. <laughs> yes, I want to also mention about the concert, too. Like, wow, they out here. I mean, it kind of made me excited, though, like like us planning what day like we're like, oh, what what day should we go to? <laughs> Right. Oh my god, what are we gonna wear? Um, well, in other news we got straight kids, they released a music video for the any for any. They out here, um, y'all. They're just like back to back yo, to back. I'm saying they I love that though. I love that they're doing like multiple music videos for multiple like songs kids. in their album. Mm-hmm. And obviously this is one of my favorites from their album and like mm-hmm. This shit slaps. This music video is hot. Changmin looks sexy as fuck. It's great. <laughs> Ooh, you're right. He's always like, <laughs> she's a yelling. Claim. Like everybody was just like, yeah, da da da, da 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 da. He, da 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 da. Eat your veggies. I was like, okay. Oh my god, King. He's just always screaming at me, and I don't know what I did. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I was kind of taken aback. Okay. Yeah. It's like I always in backdoor too. Like everyone else, like when they did the did it did it did it did it did a backdoor. It's like so like quiet, and then he's like, "Cause you made a bottle, 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 backdoor." And I'm like, "Whoa, whoa!" It could be a ballad, and he's gonna he's gonna scream at you. And then like he Han, just... how he was like holding that glass, like he was sipping on some yak, but really it was just like some ice water. And I was just <laughs> like, "Sir." <laughs> okay, I respect it though. It was just all about that. I love Chuck I, Man. I love that boy. <laughs> He's just and Bang Chao look mm. good and Han look honestly like there's just no music video that I'll watch for Siri Kids and I'm just like they look awful. Like they just can't. That does not exist. But Carolina keep she's just the three ratchet stand. She just I am because oh every God. time we talk about stray wow. kids, she's like Bang Chan, Chang Bin, Han, and then doesn't talk about anyone else. <laughs> <She's> just, <laughs> Uh, all of my business out there <laughs> girl you put it on the podcast weekly you're right <laughs> but stray kids delicious hyunjin yeah fine yo felix wow that felix? long hair looks so good sorry he's so cute his little beanie he's so adorable he was so cute i They're love adorable him. um speaking of cute uh cix's Jin Young. It's so weird to say CIX. I always want to say 101. I know. Anyway, Bae Jin Young and Johan from We I, formerly of X1, uh, released the I Believe MV for their Pepsi collab. That's so cute. I was, it was cute. I love it. I love the little cameo of Daniel. I was not expecting it. Mm, yeah. He is so cute. Like, he showed up and I'm like, Daniel? What? And then it showed up. Like, oh, <laughs> Carolina was like, Kong Daniel? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, huh? <laughs> but I loved it. I was just like oh they're so adorable and it was like very like 80s and they were like dancing on the stairs and stuff and i was just like oh they were so cute it sounded something that like sheshkies or however you say their name or whatever it would say yeah like back 
that beginning Old generation. School. <laughs> like, yep. well, I think it's actually a a remake. It's like a cover, like a remake of a song, like an oh, older song. Okay. okay well, that, that makes sense because it's yeah. like it sounds like it's like on the cusp of like moving from trot to like K-pop that we know now. <laughs> it's like yeah. that mixture. Yeah. <laughs> But I think what I read is that it is like a remake of a song, like an older ah, song. So, ah. but I love it. I love the retro vibe, all the like old Pepsi cans and stuff. And I was like, great, this is amazing. This is what we want. This like this concept of these two just being cute. Jin Young has just grown up so much. I just I can't know. Even. But also support CIX. They are having a comeback soon, and We I is making their debut soon. So everyone. Yes! Love on them. I can't wait. Yes. We did have also some uh, fucked up shit that happened this week, y'all. We got a fucker uh, of the week, everybody. Y'all, I swear to God, and hype and I'm hyphen assuming. has been out like a week. A week and like a couple days at this point. Like, and y'all out here acting a mess. In the middle of a motherfucking pandemic. You know what? A global <laughs> pandemic. Acting like it's not there. The whole of the USA. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, what what will today bring me? I went on Twitter and I saw the nonsense that was N hyphen at the airport on their way to a schedule. And I said, y'all got to be motherfucking kidding me. Not only is this just disrespectful as a whole because they are whole ass 16 year old boys, Mm -hmm. but we're in the middle of a motherfucking pandemic. Y'all know Sunu has health problems. He's explicitly talked about mm-hmm. it numerous times and y'all still be doing this and then y'all had nikki a 14 year old 14 having to lead his he got left behind he was up he was holding all his youngs he was like oh hell no he was pushing bitches i was like this is ridiculous i was like this is just unacceptable that's my son that's my baby boy shout out to nikki jay and he sung because without the three of them there who knows what a motherfucking oh, happened they formed a circle airport. around Sonu. i was like oh they only had like a couple staff members with them because like i think kat said it in the group chat when we were talking about it that they that i'm sure that they didn't think it was gonna be like to this scale no i don't think anybody did because they're really popular (laughs) and they haven't like officially debuted like yes they have been like officially like they're debuting together and everything's like set in stone but again it's been a week two weeks now but jeez it's so wild to me because, yeah, like, they haven't even, like, actually officially, like, mm-hmm. debuted, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. And then these people, and then just the audacity of being, doing this in the middle of a pandemic. Not even then, but just doing this in general. When y'all gonna understand that nobody wants to be mobbed? Like, please. Yeah, like, it's not cute. Like, I don't understand. Like, what do you What do you that? gain? Like, I just don't understand, like, what the point of this is. And I know that, like, uh... When this happened, Cynthia, I think you were the one that mentioned it, like, oh, like, a lot of people were just like, well, I wasn't there for X person, I was here for Y person, so it didn't matter what oh, was no, going on. Oh, no, yeah, the, the, there was a couple of fan sites that they were like, oh, well, I wasn't here to see all of them, I was here to see this person. I was like, bitch, they're still all gonna be there. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, exactly. I still didn't justify mobbing them, like, what? <laughs> exactly. Like, why are y'all running up? Like, there was hella fan sites yeah. there, y'all, and like... I was like, this is really stupid. Like, wh- why would the first impression you want as a fan site to be you bobbing them at the airport? What? Mm-hmm. But, like, wouldn't you as a fan site get better pictures anyway if everybody just calmly, like, lined up on both Literally. sides? Like, wouldn't you just get better pictures that way and not just, like, yep. blurs and, like, them crying or running away from you or, like, you getting knocked down by people? Like, I don't understand. And didn't one of them, like pass out or something yeah so he has health problems and that they know about and they still act like this and like the fact that the rest of the members had to like shield him with their bodies mm-hmm. and like fight their way through these insane mobs Ridiculous. to get to their vehicle like that's just so insane and again they're like they're little babies they just got thrusted yeah, they- into this life like they really just got pushed out the door 
Yeah. Literally, their average age is 16 years old, everybody. They're minors. Mm -hmm. Like, only, like, two of them are of legal age. So, like, literally calm the fuck down. Mm -hmm. Literally calm down. Yeah. Like, the fact that this is even something that's being talked about or bought up is, like, stupid. Like, it's so stupid. Like, it's dumb. I can't wait for them to have BTS a la NCT, like, security that just shoving bitches to the ground. I can't wait to see that. (laughs) That's going to be beautiful for me. I can't wait for that fan type video to come out of them getting pushed the fuck down i can't wait you're right i cannot oh my god wait yes this, the head of security of bts don't play like i love that man he's so funny also intimidating and i would like never cross him ever in my life but like <laughs> bitch i stared him in the eyeballs one time in my life and i never wanted to be in front of that man's presence ever again. i was like no okay I gotta, like, go. oh, I, was like, gotta I, go. I gotta go i gotta go he said move i said yes sir <laughs> I said, no problem <laughs> <laughs> I am out of the way. I'm flinging myself. I, said, off I of wasn't the way. even walking in this direction for a reason. I'm gone. I, I don't need to go this way. <laughs> uh, this ain't even my path in life. I can't do this. Nope. I gotta go. He said. He looked at me dead in the eye. He said, "Move." I said, "Sir, yes, sir." I was suddenly in the U.S. military. I said, "Yes, sir." <laughs> <laughs> More of the story is don't mob my son and nephews thank you don't mob any artist what are you doing stupid oh my god i get so mad i don't want to even like talk more before i like start cussing people left and right you're right but uh we're gonna get into comebacks yes we have a few there is a lot of now that i think about it there's a lot of produced babies that had comebacks this week love that um bdc brand new music's a uh, new group that Insung really needs to join because I need that in my life. Um, they released their first comeback after like a year. <laughs> love that. Um, called Shoot the Moon. I love this song. They killed wow, it. Wow, I love this song. This shit is so good. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything less because I love their debut song too. So I was like, wow. I feel that. Can I say I forgot I- that they're a three member group? <laughs> oh, there's only yeah, three of them? <laughs> Yeah, girl, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I could have swore there was more people in that music video. <laughs> no, I thought it was like nah. eight of them. I was like, oh my god, I think it's the it's the styling that they did. Like they usually, for example, with Dreamcatcher, you can tell who Dreamcatcher was versus like you know like the backup dancers. For this, I feel like they were all kind of styled the same. I I you know me being a person that does not know them like that. I was so confused. I was like, oh, there's like eight. And then all of a sudden, there three of them were dressed in all blue. And I was like, wait, is there oh, three? Right. And I had to Google yep. it. And yes. I was like, oh, it's a three member group. Right. I forgot. Yeah. So that that's why we want Unsung to join this group. Yes. Because like, what's the, just, just add him on. Like, come on. You're right. Oh, is that they're called BDC? Is this like their names or is that just not... Irrelevant. No, they're they're BDC stands for Boys de Capo. Boys yeah, or de Capo, really? Boys de Capo. Boys de Capo. <laughs> yeah, Capo. 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 What? Yes. Like cat. Like gun. Yeah. Boys de Capo. <laughs> Like, bust the cap in your ass? Yeah, that's what I'm taking it as. Like, boys that cap that ass. <laughs> okay, so one more time. One more time. I can barely hear you. Say it again. Boys, B-O-Y-S, boys, duh, D-A, duh, capo, like cap, like a bottle cap with an O at the end. Boys, duh, What? I don't this know. This is the worst Adobe. Music. Ask Rhymer. Boys did Capo. <laughs> it was just flashbacks to Adobe. <laughs> this, this is worse than Adobe, oh, y'all. God. Like, I Here swear to God. God. Who is coming up with the names of these groups? You know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make my own group. We're just going to be like, him and a him and a. That's what it's <laughs> going to be. X, Y, Z, Q. Him and a him and a. That's how we spell it. We have a whole group coming out called Drippin'. What you expect? Drippin'. Generation 4 is wild, okay? Okay. The fourth, but at least Drippin'. Fourth gen like, of K-pop. Could, you can make your own like definition of what dripping means. It's stupid, but at least I can kind of be like, okay. But what is capo? That's not even boys. That <laughs> capo. <laughs> There's probably a meaning behind it. We just gotta find it. That's why they're called BDC. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> BDC. But I love this. It was such a cool song, and it's like the choreography is super cool and. 
they just killed it. It was like, it's super catchy. I really, really liked it. Sion's voice, I was like, yes. His rap, his flow. I was like, yes, King, I missed you so much. The dance move when it's just like, they kind of like crouch down and like lift their feet type of thing. Yeah. Bro, I was just like, ooh, working them calves. Let's go. Love that. But um, yes, this was a great song. I liked it a lot. Again, wasn't expecting anything less because their debut was great. So yeah. I'm just upset that it took like a year and some change for them to have a comeback. But it's fine. More produce babies producing yeah! the unit babies. Um, Hangyul and Doohyun came back. W- well, it's their final song together. Wait, actually. what? Um, Hangyul and Doohyun, yeah, it's their last song they're, as a they're, duo. Yeah. They're not a for everything. They're joining a group group now. Yeah, but why? Because, because honestly, they're not that popular as a duo. So they need to be yeah. in a group. The song is so good. It is really good. I know. It really was. Perfect it really was. Fall. But they're not making numbers. And, you know, MBK, they they ain't rich. So they're like, you know what? I get it. We got to make a group. Aww. So they're yeah. making a group. I feel like their voices suit each other really well. Like they harmonize yeah, well. Yeah, we're still going to be together. <laughs> they're freaking great together. But that's the thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, they did do numbers like with their debut and things like that. But it wasn't enough to keep him going. Mm. And either mm. way, like so many people have been saying that they want to see like them in a group. Like they want them yeah. in a group. Like not just them two. Because again... As sad as it is, statistically, the same as with solos, like we talked about a couple of podcasts ago, groups just do better. Well, yeah, I know that, but they already have set groups or they are like making a group. They're going to be in a group together. Oh, okay. I thought they were splitting them up. Okay, that's fine then. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, they'll be together. (laughs) Oh, okay. Well, that's acceptable. But the song is so good. It's so chill. I love that we got Dohyeon freaking playing the guitar in this. My talented baby. He's so talented. He's only like 14. It's insane. Musical genius. Oh, my God. I could never... I love how simple it is. It's kind of mm-hmm. like a live stage type of thing. And the piano mm-hmm. notes in this song were beautiful. Like Hangul in this song? Oh, beautiful. You're right. <laughs> you're right. But that, that man could be wow. walk, walking around with a trash bag and he would rock it. So. <laughs> I'll never forget the moment. There was a very distinctive moment with for Terika, myself, Carolina, and Kenzie where we all watched the show called The Unit. And literally one night we were all watching an episode and Hangul came up like pres- his presence was very known for the first time in the show and we were all just like yo did y'all see this guy and Terrico was like oh my god yes and then Carolina was like yes and then Kenzie was like yes I was like okay so I need to know everything about him <laughs> and so we looked him up we found out everything and then he disappeared off the face of the planet once he left oh. the unit and we were like yeah. wow like this is the worst day of my life and then he reappeared on produce 101 and I was like oh, oh my god it was so lovely it was so lovely <laughs> The one, the one thing we always said about the unit is like the one show that needed to be rigged was that one, <laughs> and yeah, they right. didn't. Fucking they didn't Marco. rig it. Like they the really group that could have been, mm-hmm. the group that could have been UNB. Wow, to this day, to this day, still bitter. But <sighs> you're right. Umbrella is beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> she said we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, Umbrella, no, I'm hot. Ta- like. <laughs> <laughs> because because if we talk about it, guess what's going to come up? Stupid Marco. How dare you, Marco? Marco. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but but Umbrella, super, super mm-hmm. cute. I loved I like it. The, they were... the beat change that happened like in the song. I really like that. In the song. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was really good. Um, but yes. Anyway, h and D. I'm excited to see their group. MBK, don't fuck this up. Cause I'll they for can't that afford to fuck it up, cat. So I hope that they don't. <laughs> they already like lost Kijun though. So oh, yeah, they I'm did. upset. Oh, where anyway. is he in the world? Where is Carmen San Diego? He, he's a dancer <laughs> now. He's in like a dance group. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> the next comeback we're gonna talk about another one that I'm super mad about. Obtention came back with light. Yeah. Listen, TOP Media. The fact that fucking Woosuk and Jin Hyuk weren't in this comeback when they would have suited this comeback, this concept so well mm-hmm. upsets me. Like, it literally upsets me. It is They would have done this so much justice. But anyway... Like, they would have been so good. This is why I'm just like, who the heck is in marketing? Like, are... are are Woosuk and Jin Hyung just, like, not wanting to do the comebacks? Like, do they ask them and they're just like, yeah, like, I, I want to do more solo stuff. Like, is that the thing? 
Is that what's going on? Well, that's what the official reason is, right? That's what the company says. Yeah, that's what the company <laughs> says. That they keep like yeah. putting them to do solo stuff. Yeah, but T.O.P. Media is trash. Yeah, because so. I go back to, again, when X1 won their first win and Uptension was also on that stage, you could tell Woosuk was so Woosuk pissed. Woosuk was so pissed. He was so pissed. He was just like, I cannot, like, I could tell, like, he was just like, I cannot believe it took for me to go to this stupid show in order for me to get a first win when my group is standing right there and it's the same, like, similar type of music and nobody cares. I'm like, are you serious? Oh. Like... It's sad. The thing is, Woosuk, him and Jin Hyuk always talk about obtention, like all yeah. the fucking time. They're like, oh, yeah, like the obtention members, my members, my members. So mm-hmm. Honey 10 has been like, which is uh, obtention's fandom, has been like going at T.O.P. media. Like, why aren't Woosuk and Jin Hyuk like promoting with uh, uh, obtention why aren't they doing anything with obtention because this is obtention's like second comeback since produce and neither of them have been involved in any way and yeah. top's mm-hmm. always like oh well they have their acting or whatever and then somebody i don't know who was that brung you chen into it but i was like i mean you're not wrong somebody was like so you're telling me that ace yu chan could have a an acting career and his group just had a full comeback, full promotions, but Wusa couldn't star in this TV show and like promote with obtention. And I was like, Ooh, I was like, Ooh, yep. shade, all that tea shade. And the but same thing true. with Jin Hyuk. He, he wrapped his drama already. So there's no reason they're like, Oh, what well, their solo promotions, like their solo album promotions. But I'm like, you can even fucking sung Woo, like, he victims comeback ended and then he did his solo stuff Mm -hmm. so you could always throw in a solo comeback between group comebacks like it's not it's not that hard it can't it can be done yeah that's why but then i think about it too and just from a marketing point of view why the heck would you not want your quote-unquote two most popular members to be in uptention like if wusak and jin hyuk were in uptention for these comebacks how many more people would go even if it's because, mm-hmm. well, you know, I stand Wusuk. I don't know who Uptension is. But then they'll go and and figure out about Uptension. You feel like I'm just yeah, like, Yeah, because you follow your that? bias. You're like, ooh, who? Exactly. Like, oh, yeah. he's in this group? All right, let me, like, check him out. Like, how many people went to Victon because of, like, Sung Woo, right? Like, and, or Byung Chan. Or Byung Chan, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like, so many, right? So I'm just yeah. like, why aren't y'all taking a a page from that book but this song was really great and that's what mm-hmm. makes me so mad because mm-hmm. it's probably not going to be that popular but it was a really fucking great song i thought the choreo was great the concept was really cool i liked the song in general like and that's why i was upset i was like damn like this song could like be huge like this could be like a yep. top tier song yep. but it's not gonna happen because they don't have Wusuk or Jin Hyuk to bring that popularity and I'm like y'all T.O.P. Media you keep taking L's you keep taking L's like imagine the money you would make I know you're making money with Jin Hyuk and Wusuk solo stuff but imagine the money you would make with their solo things and with the fucking group that has both of them in it right yep. like and people love their relationship on Produce like Wusuk was always like Jin Hyuk like that's my best friend that's my boy like I did this with him like that is my team that is my soul How cute. and like they even yeah literally like they were when Wusuk made it and Jin Hyuk didn't they were both fucking sobbing there's mm-hmm. literally like a fan cam video of like Wusuk running into his arms and like collapsing and crying oh my god like stop. it's crazy and I'm like the like uh, you guys whoever is in these marketing teams for these k-pop groups are stupid y'all don't play off of the emotions of these fans that's what y'all need to do because we're emotional <laughs> as bitches yeah. and when we see like soulmate culture shit like tay and jimin they play that soulmate shit to a t and we eat that shit up we're mm-hmm. like yes this is the best thing ever like fucking use that shit like why are y'all out here not using people's relationships for profit like come on like everyone else in the world does it like fucking capitalism bro like learn your job like come on (laughs) yeah but besides that light is really it's really fun it's really upbeat still got that sexy we got some fire outfits the white outfits in this like even though there were like three yes, different ones the white outfits were just, i was like <sighs> they were so bomb we got with crop the cutouts tops. i was like Whew. we got like it was it was so dope and i also love that one of the name of the stores in the background was honey 10 i was like oh, yes so cute. like mm-hmm. the fans and then there was one yes. member that had glitter hair and i loved it even though that shit was probably on his scalp for like weeks but <laughs> It was beautiful either way. 
I was looking at three of them, and one of them may or may not be a 95 liner, so I have to step away. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're all super cute, though. I was like, aww. They're so pretty. There's always that one. I keep forgetting his name, but there's always one. Whenever I see him, I'm like, oh, my God, you are beautiful. Like, you are ridiculous. <laughs> I know that, that one guy that was wearing the crop top at first, like... Wow. Yeah, he was fine. But there he was another fine. one. I just look at him. Every comeback, I know it's him because then I think I like, oh, I need to look him up. And then I see his name and I'm like, damn, it's you every time. But I don't <laughs> look at his name. Um, Jin Hyuk's son, though, yeah. speaking of Jin Hyuk, has finally debuted. Um, I love the name. In Ghost 9. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> the name. Season. Not what I thought it was going to be because of I the name. really like the song, actually. No, the song is good. <laughs> The dubstep, like, I was so here for this. They said, so first of all, I want to congratulate whoever their graphic designer was because this logo is hella cool. And the the first time I saw it, I freaked out because it's so cool. When I read that the title track was going to be called Think of Dawn, I was just like, oh, no, are they going to give me something soft, like, to start off, to debut? No. They said, we are here. We are here to stay, and you're going to watch us. Like, this shit was super eye-catching. I was eye like, catching. you're right, because my son is in there. I was like, like a proud mom. I was like, yes! yes. He looks so grown, though. He He's looks so, so grown. Cute. I could have handled it. I was like, no. <laughs> Little Hanami. Hanami. And then his rapping, I was like, right? who raised him? And then I was like, all right, Jin Hyuk, you're right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I absolutely, I love this debut. I thought it was super eye-catching, like, and there was just so much going on, but the sound was, like, right up my alley. Like, it was, like, dubstep, like, hard-hitting, like, breakdowns. Like, you ready to fuck shit up and, like, start a damn revolution with the song. Like, I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Also, they have a member named Prince, y'all. Oh, yeah. He's Ty. Ty. He's so cute. I thought he was adorable. He got he a cute was. little nose. He does. I was I like, like, he's him. adorable. Who is this? They're just so cute. Like, I was just, again, I just felt like a proud mom seeing, like, freaking Hanami. Jinu. Yeah, Jinu. little Jimu. Oh, he's so grown now. Wow. So cute. Jinu was so cute. He was just rapping his little heart out. I was like, oh, my God. I really like this debut. I'm like excited to see what else they do, and they should really play out on their name. Got a spooky season group, yeah. Ghost night, exactly. We're going from spooky to cute. Signature, (laughs) some more unit, some more unit babies. (laughs) Signature came back with Adi song. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't like it. (laughs) I feel like there was elements of the song that I liked. Like at the end when they were all chanting together, I was like, that's cute. And then there's of course you like the chanting part. part. I said, that's cute. But after that, like, it's just, I feel like there's a lot happening. It was just a lot in my ears. Just, and there's like a little like part. And I was like, oh my God. You know what I'm so, talking about? <laughs> yeah. You know, in the, you know, in the, in the chorus when it's like, Addy song, mm-hmm. that yeah, thing, uh-uh, is that uh-uh. what you're talking about? I, I, that happened. Like when I was watching the music, like f- listening for the first time, that happened. And I was just like, I started laughing because I was like, I bet you $3 that Cynthia cringed. That Terika was like, nah. And Scott is probably just like, this song is ain't, just ain't it. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie to you. It just wasn't. I also it clicked for me. out of this one. I was like, nah, I can't do yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> I pushed through. I don't know if it's the power of Jiwon because she's just so adorable and cute and so sticking cute like imagine jiwon with chu together oh my god oh my, my god. world would be just but she's wow. the one that does the little like yeah yeah that's her i can't <laughs> she's the first person you see in the music video with the like orangey hair yeah. i love her i love her so much she's so cute she is cute so for me like the song i don't know like signature their songs are cute but they always have like a weird element to them um, so for me, the song at the first, like at the beginning, I it was just I didn't like it. But like toward it, it get it got better towards the end because the beat changes. But I like their last songs better from from this. But I see how this is very very catchy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It was too much for me. It was like a really bad toothache. <laughs> like, it was a lot happening. Like I said, there were elements of the song yeah. where I was like, okay. But, like, it was just a, a lot in my ears. Like, I just feel like... It was a lot. It's a lot of high pitch, just a lotness. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
me being me, I really like really cute things. So I enjoyed it, but it's not my favorite from them. Yeah. Um, but again, I, I feel like it's because G1 is on it, it like <laughs> in this group. And I'm just like, oh, my God, it's like when Chu does anything. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so it's the same. It's the same with her. Like, I need them to, like, be friends and just. You never know. Maybe they are. Oh, my God. I like will cry. They're so cute. They're just so cute. Also, the hands tree giving the orange was just weird. That was just weird. <laughs> the I don't even remember tree. that. Thank God, because I would have cried. <laughs> it was so weird. Like, I was just like, why is there a tree made out of hands giving her an orange? Like, oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go from cute to noir to yes! Sin City esque. Heck yeah. Everglow. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Ever glow hey, forever. Hey, 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 let's go. Go. Listen, we went from cute to badass. I freaking love, love Everglow, Ever bro. They're badasses, and that's it. Like, the outfits, they were... This... Oh, my God, okay. Bro, this the leather, video. I was it's like... It's like Sin queen, City. Queen that's shit. what it reminded me of. It is. Yeah. Literally, yeah. I said that so many times when we were doing the reaction. I was like, this reminds me of Sin City. Oh, wow. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> the outfits, the makeup, the way this video was edited when it was, like, the black and white with just the red, like... Oh, my God, yes! I red. love that. Oh, it was such a cool edit. Yeah, girl, that's what we missed. Sin City, have you never seen Sin City? <laughs> Great no. Movie. I have watch it. Oh, well, then yeah, yeah, yeah. You should watch it. It's a great movie. So, yeah, so that's why. But I freaking loved it. And did they, like, Vogue at the end? Yeah. Like, they, most of their choreography is, like, walking and voguing and everything. It's the whole, like, concept. I was just not expecting that. I was like, oh, my God. I mean, I was here for it. It was great. Same. I oh, obviously. Loved it. You know, yeah. but I knew we were going to love Everglow. They were going to be yeah. one of our groups whenever me and Carolina did a reaction to them at, like, 2 in the morning at the airport. We're like, yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> yeah, bro, we were vibing. I love their music. Like this song is so catchy. Like it's just, it has like a retro feel, and the outfits at the end too. When it was like the all metallic and all glitter, I was just like, you know what, disco queens, let's go. Like, love let's do this them. thing. And also, Miss EU, Miss Leader Rapper love Extraordinaire. Her. She mm-hmm. was just killing it for me. And of course, my girl Aisha. I love her. Fucking too. it up. My Maknae queen, Yaren. I was like, yes. But this whole EP is it's incredible. Really good. Yeah. Like, so mm-hmm. good. So good. You have like. Must uh, be the good. Must be the yes. good. Guy. You have like must Untouchable, which is like the retro queen. Boy. You got Good Boy, which is like the booty popping banger. Yo, that shit is my song. I'm in love with the good boy. Yes. Like, I was like, ah! And then No Good Reason, the best motherfucking song on the EP. And No Good Reason could be a song that could be played, like, on radio. Like, it sounds like a straight top 40, like, pop single. Mm-hmm. It was, it's a pop song. Yeah. Really. So, it's incredible. So, anybody out there listening, if y'all haven't checked out Everglow, please, please what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? What with are you life? doing? <laughs> Their music is incredible. And also... Yeah, also my birthday twin, Onda, like, when she was in the music video, I was just like, I love everything about you. Like, yes, queen, fuck it up. Love my life. Birthday twins, let's go. <laughs> You're Parting it up. Uh, for our last comeback for this week, we have one <laughs> week. They came back with parting, and let me just say, uh, it's wow. so pretty. They just... Ugh. The Regulus vibes. It literally yeah, reminded it me of Regulus so and I instantly started crying. Even like the looks, like their makeup looks and everything were so pretty too. It was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful song. And Kang Hyun's guitar solo, as soon as I was done watching the music video, I messaged him on Pocket Dolls and I was like, your guitar solo was so cool. And he just sent me hearts and I was like, you're right, I Can love someone you. someone just tell but, him that I love him? Because I'm never going to get this app, but I just feel like he needs to know. Bitch, I thought you did. <laughs> No, because Terika. Listen, he be flirting. He be on there. Yeah, he like, does. But I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna give it like a month trial when I finally do get it. And if I don't get no responses, y'all gotta give me nah. my ten dollars back. Listen, he gonna listen, respond girl. to you. He, he's gonna respond he gonna because respond guess what? I didn't even message him first, and he wished me a happy birthday. But that was I was just like made of thing, right? I have no idea because it was very specific to like he put a sunflower and I've sent him sunflowers before. Oh, so like, not only are you trying to steal my man, but you're trying to steal my brand. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> and you steal my whole aesthetic. <laughs> Whoa, now. 
Whoa now. Anyway, like, the song and this yeah. music video is beautiful. The fact that they are in a warehouse with nothing but the instruments and a projector behind them, that is oh, how good so the song nice. is. Magic. It really and is. Dong Myon, Carolina's man, or I mean, <laughs> Cynthia's man. Dong Myon, wow. He was so pretty. He looks I was so just pretty. like, you are beautiful with the glossy lid. Wow. I was like, cut so through. Oh, and he with so the, the face, like, oh, the chain. The chain. Yeah. the chain. Oh Kia God, is so cool, cool, y'all. This kid such a cool person. is so cool. I swear I only say that about two people, and that is women from Groovy Room and Kia from When We. <laughs> like, he just has, like, whoa, 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 Hanse. Oh, and Hanse, oh too. You're right. You're right. And Hanse is also super oh cool. My God, my heart just, like, hurt. <laughs> it's just, like, super like i don't know how to explain it it's just this aura around him that is just so i don't know it's just so good it's so good also no, Terika's man or technically wait carolina who's your man <laughs> yes okay my man's Ooh. oh oh okay. no i'm scared <laughs> okay <Listen>. anyway <laughs> and that's okay but is at it least no? I'm okay I just with feel it. like I wasn't a part of that agreement. I just feel like one day she was like, oh, yeah, we share a bias. And I was like, mm, I feel like that's something we should have talked about. I mean, I'm okay with it. So I'm okay with it. And that's what matters. But let's talk about that. Let's talk about no, that. Let's but talk I wanted to say that Kang Hyun wrote the song. Yes. That's why it's so pretty. Yeah, he wrote it and composed it. And he said that it was inspired of a dream of an asteroid hitting Earth. And I was just like, amazing. Yeah, I love, love that. that. You have weird dreams. And we I love, love that, that energy. Yeah, you could you could hear it throughout the song, though, because they talk about space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just say them drums? Wow. <laughs> them drums. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> when it was the guitar and drum solo that they did, like, yeah. mm-hmm. and it, it just so kept pretty. panning in the video, like from from uh, Harim to to Kahyan and just back and forth. And I was like, oh my god, this is this is heaven. But also, I would love to say, uh, Young Hoon yes. vocals. So oh, yeah. you know, yes. every time he opens his <sighs> mouth, I'm just like, you know what? This is gonna be the most magical moment of my life, and I'm never wrong, and it is every time. And I'm just like, how do you make those sounds with your throat? Like, can you show me how to do that? Because that's ridiculous. He is the best vocalist of our generation. And that's that on that, like, period. Okay. He, Adele, he's coming for your ass. He's so good. He really is. He's literally one of my favorite, like, male vocalists, like, that I've ever heard in my life. I I feel that. I feel that. He's my favorite vocalist, period. Like, I can't explain it. He just brings chills up my spine. Yep. Same. I just love how One Week just brings the dramatics for everything. Like they just showcase their music so beautifully. Like, yes. Again, yes. even with the simple music video, it's just them. They're you know their instruments and like a projector, but it was like so intriguing to watch. It's even when like I remember with their last like uh comeback when. I saw somebody comment and they were just like, oh, this like Kang Hyun just like not sing. And, and everybody's just like, nah, man, like, do you not see him shredding? He can't like that. There's no, <laughs> yeah, he can't he, do two things at once. He can't do these two things at once. I mean, he could probably, but that's, you know what I mean? It was just like, the shredding is enough. He's talking enough with that. And I'm just, you're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another group that was also on the unit. Wow. We were really like the unit. Oh, and- <laughs> <my God. laughs> the unit was just. The unit was a great time. I remember their audition for the unit when they were Mass, if anybody doesn't know yeah. that. That yes. was the name of their band before one week. Mass. Yep. And that audition was so good. I remember me and Carolina like screaming about it. We were like, they used a megaphone. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I'm never going to forget that. That was just. And they were so cute. They were like, we can't dance. So if Aww. anybody wants to be on our team. Yeah. They were like, oh, my God. Oh, they're so, so cute. cute. One we loves their music so much and like it's one of those groups that just adores what they do yeah. more than anything. And I, I can just I hear it in every song, every cover, everything that that they do. They release so many different versions of their songs as well, if you um didn't know. Like yeah. they just released an acoustic version. So I wonder if they're gonna release more versions like they did with Regulus because they released like seven oh, different God, versions and each one was amazing. The acoustic version of this is really good, too. Yeah, yes. it really is. It's so beautiful. And, like, one, I saw one of my mutuals talking about it, um, and she was like, it's like 
they make these babies and they're like trusting us to like babysit their child oh, like they make yikes. these like beautiful children and then they're just like giving it to us to like love and adore but they're low-key like terrified because every time like they always talk about like oh how scared they are to release like they're excited but they're like scared to know what the fans are gonna think about it and i'm just like oh it's gonna be beautiful don't worry we're gonna love it i swear Aww. honestly there's not a song like they don't have any bad songs like you're right. They're a no skip group. And they're a no <laughs> skip group. It's true. Mm-hmm. Like all of their music is good. <sighs> Imagine having that much talent. And they've also been together since like high school. Well, most of them, except for like Yung Hong. But like they added him pretty early on too. So like they've known each other forever that they just they just know how to work well together, you know? Like mm-hmm. I think yeah. um I forgot who said it, but they're like, Yeah, we're like an old married couple. And one us is like newlyweds. Love <laughs> I love them. When will we see them live? <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like lately I've been just listening to K Band so much more. Join <laughs> the club. You right. like I'm so into like K bands lately. Like one we with Lucy with Bandage with Day Six. I'm just like wow, K bands really are the shit. Like y'all people sleeping. People great. really sleeping. For real, for real. Stand one we y'all become a weave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh so this week we do have a mini album review, everybody. Ooh, ooh. Yes. My boys, the boys have returned with a new EP, everyone. A mini album. Yes, yes. Joy. Ooh, Amazing. I'm your boy. Um, their fifth mini album to be exact, Chase. Wow, five already? Yes, this is their fifth mini album. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what I really like about this is, like, okay, so they were on Road to Kingdom, obviously, and they hit, mm. had this whole, like, thief, thief concept, concept, and they yes. were, and they were like, boom, let's make a comeback about it. I'm like, genius. Wow. I feel so... It's like a continuation. I feel so impressed with myself right now, because I don't know anything about anything ever, and so when I listened <laughs> to the album and saw the music video, I was like, wow, this is like some 007 shit. So, like, yeah. thieves. So, like... <laughs> there we go. Wow, I'm basically like a Dobby now. <laughs> <laughs> Dobby's rise. Uh, but let's get this mini album where you started. I really yes. like this album. Um, yes. The first song is Shine Shine. Shine Shine. Yes, Shine Shine. It is produced and composed and lyrics lyricized by a man named Kenzie. If you don't know Kenzie, he's worked in K-pop before. He literally has done songs for EXO, SHINee, NCT. Oh. He's oh, Kenzie's very- a dude? This whole time I thought Kenzie was a girl. I'm pretty sure Kenzie's a guy. <laughs> Oh, I know, like, I know, like, I know the name, like, I've seen it, like, on NCT albums and stuff, but I just, I just had no idea this whole time I thought it was a girl. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know, you know what, I don't know, Tarek, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. I assume it's a man because, you know, Korean music industry, they're not very kind to women, except for, like, Big Hit. But whether it's a man or a woman, this person has worked with EXO, SHINee, NCT, Taemin, all those SM people. So Ooh, it does okay. to me have a very XO y vibe to it, I think. Like the It does. Yeah. Um, so like a lot of the songs in this album reminded me of something like Taman would do. And I know that a lot of the, the boys uh uh boys like <laughs> like Taman a lot. So I was just Facts. like, wow. Yeah, that Facts. vibe. It's a very Taman vibe. There's a yeah, part the same vibe. of like the song, like right before like the chorus starts or whatever, like, the main chorus. Like it sounds like that song Waiting for Tonight. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> go back and listen. Throw to that J Lo in there. Let's go. Go back and listen to it. Cause it does. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? I loved it. Yeah, but I love it. This this kind of sets the mood like it for does. the concept itself because in the lyrics it's like, oh, like I'm gonna steal you. I'm gonna steal your heart. And I love that they were in there. They say they say kind of like, oh, like our name is the boys. Like, oh, like we're the boys and we're here to steal your heart or some shit like that. But it's like it's like <laughs> it a welcome of, to our world. They're coming for the new stands from Road to Kingdom. So they're like, hey, right. um, we're coming for that stand card but it definitely uh sets the tone for like the darker vibe of the album because the boys are like before this you know with reveal like that was the first album that they were kind of dark with like they 
mm-hmm. always had some type of vibrance or brightness to like their past albums, you know, like Dreamlike and like Bloom Bloom Pow. Like all that stuff was kind of Bloom, vibrant. Bloom Bloom Pow. pow. No more at the beat. Of- Sorry. It's such a good song. <laughs> it is. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, they always had some sort of vibrance. And there is little hints of it in this EP, which I th- I thought was great. Because every all of the bees thought, like, oh, is this going to be, like, dark, like, sexy? But they had, like, hints of, like, their little vibrance that we love out of them. Like, their quirk- quirkiness. So I think this definitely, like, yeah, set yeah, yeah. the pace for, like, the sexiness of this album. Because it is, mm-hmm. like, a very sexy album. Um, so I was really excited and it kind of lays the groundwork for the entirety of the album. I thought it was a great song to start with. And Jacob's vocals in this, I was like, bro, I'm so impressed. Like there was, there was, I forget who it was too, that in this song, it's just like, Oh, do you like what you see? And I'm like, honey, yes. I love what I'm seeing. What you talking about? Yes, I do. Like (laughs) I, I, there's a specific part at the end where Jacob does like this run and I like for like two seconds and it might be because like I had in my head like oh this sounds like so much like EXO like I had in my head like EXO 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 that like it sounded like Kyungsu and I was like whoa I was like wait a minute I was Ooh, like oh that's Jacob B that's Jacob B so oh. um, start crying. but <laughs> Jacob really this was Jacob's song for me he ate this shit up and I was like his voice Sir. was very pretty and he even said it, he's going to bring fire. And I was like, boy, okay, <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> I was like, you're right. This is you pretty right, random, Kate? but the backtrack of this reminds me of Justin Timberlake's older music. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. completely left field. But, like, I'm talking, like, Cry Me a River, like, that era. <laughs> I was just like, okay, Justin okay. Timberlake. I see it. I see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They have, it kind of like, the, like, Chine Shine is very, like, like old school pop type of sound, but it's, like, very sultry and dark, like yeah, uh, what Kat was say. saying. And, but I, I but I, I, again, I loved it. I think it set up the tone for the concept, for the album, and it's, like, I, it, again, it was, like, an intro, like, a welcome to our world, because exactly, like, after Road to Kingdom, they got, like, yeah. so many fans like so many more people interested in them. Yes, what they deserve. What they deserve. Yeah, like that the whole reason like they were number 1 and everything, right? So, so I just feel mm-hmm. like this is yeah, it was just like that intro. Like it like not to be that person, but it gave me big vibes of like BTS where it's just like, "Oh, also I like, oh, it's your first time with BTS and it's just like, oh, it's your first time with the boys come in." Oh my god, an iconic song yeah and like <laughs> when i heard that when they were just like oh like our name is the boys type of thing i was just like it it reminded me directly to that i was like oh my god like this is that moment for the boys oh that's the funny because rice. <laughs> they'll be right it it does correlate to that wow i see it your mind carolina wow <laughs> incredible i know <laughs> such a genius but it is it is such a good song. And then the falsettos and, like, the chorus, I think, like, made it more intimate and, like, sexy, mm-hmm. which I was, like, not expecting because the intro of the song is very kind of, like, haunting. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then it just goes into this, like, boom, boom, boom. And then the vocal runs and the falsettos. And I was just, like, vocal line, like, ruin my life. Yes, come through. Like, why do you guys have 11 main vocalists when you have 11 <laughs> members? I don't understand. And I was just, it was a lot for me. It was a lot. I loved it. And then, yeah, I wanted to, you know, cry. They said, yeah, they're just like, all right, yeah, we're going to steal you. And I said, I'm on my way. You don't even got to steal me. I'm already they coming. Said, we coming. We coming. They said, we coming. I said, I'm already here. Check outside. Right. <laughs> the next song uh, on the album is a title track. It's called The Stealer. This motherfucking song. Oh, I'm my God. The, the pop off of this song. I'm the stealer. Listen, I just want to say... Like, Kat and Cynthia are going to be reacting to the music video, so they haven't watched it. Um, but I just got to say that those beginning, in like, those scenes at the beginning with Julia, ooh, like, boy. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, I'm that's, scared for my life. It's very, like, this whole album to me is very just kind of, like, stealth and, like, noir, like, dark and, like, sleek. Mm. So, like, yeah. this music video... You're, yeah, y'all are y'all young like. Yeah, like Ooh, the looks are out wait. of control. Like the it's looks good. are out of control, <laughs> first of all. Like it's so dramatic. There's so much leather. Like mm-hmm. they have a whole tow truck in there, like 
ready to take me away. That's Ooh. how it is. So that's what y'all Ooh. just just watch. Just wait. It's a, oh, yeah, no. it's a cool music video. It's super cool. Yeah, I like it. And the ending choreography. Oh. Oh yeah. Wow. No. Okay. Yeah. So I won't mm-hmm. lie. It was either gonna be one or the other for me. So I was either like not gonna watch the music video and react to it or not watch the showcase and of course my ass was up at 3 a.m to watch the showcase because that's just who i am as an individual (laughs) no self-control you're right the v lie i was going to pee i didn't set an alarm or anything this was my mindset the night i went to sleep i was like okay the showcase is tomorrow if i wake up by chance i'm gonna watch it that's god's way of telling me that you should watch the showcase god's way of telling I said, I'm not going to set an alarm if I wake up naturally and I see a notification about the showcase starting, I'm going to watch it. What happened? I went up to use a restroom. I look at my phone and what popped up? It said, the boys live showcase. I said, well, God wanted this for me. So I watched it. Well, (laughs) since I'm here, might as well. And the ending choreo and the ending choreo when they like slid on the ground like I, when oh, they yeah. were on their knees I, it was yeah. a lot Woo, Lord. oh yeah wow. it's so so much but girl let me tell you no but this song again i love this song it's so catchy like the drama that you see in the music video you can hear it and feel it yeah. in the song i feel left I out y'all wait. it was a slow start at first though like at first it started i was like what's going on and then it picked up i was like all right all right that be really I yeah, thought for it me, was like a boom right from no, the jump. No, for me, it was like really slow at first. Not that I'm not talking like the first 30 seconds. I'm talking like the first like five seconds. <laughs> like it started. <laughs> and then I was just like, okay, what's going on? And then pow! I was like, oh, that's what's going on. All right. <laughs> Yeah, the boy said, I'm going to slap you silly with this concert. Look at this. We are so hot and talented. You right. You right. Go off, <laughs> Carolina. Oh Carolina God. is real excited about this. I just feel like a lot's it's happening so right happy. now. I'm a lot so is changing. Happy. I feel like this is the turning point, and I'm finally not going to be the only one in this podcast that stands the boys. This is just so amazing. <sighs> Let me not. I'm actually like tearing up. I need to calm down. <laughs> oh my God. When Kat dragged me and Kenzie to watch all of their shit when we were at South by Southwest, like when we were in Texas, I mean, the only thing that registered, let's be real, I've said it before, was Hual. And I was just like, I'm obsessed Hual, with this blah, man. Blah. Like, this is it. Blah, blah, blah. I've over- I was already listening to the boys because let me tell you that because I'm your boy. That song is my jam. Okay. Like that's, I love that song. <laughs> But I've been listening to them. I just never got super into it. And then after a while left, I was just sad. I was like, why this always happens to me? No, I can't do this no more. And I was upset. <laughs> and then, but then, but then, <laughs> Julian, y'all, he happened. Wow. It was a hot mess. Oh, I literally, we were at, <laughs> we were at Plucker, like a this wing place. And like, I come back from like ordering my food and like, they already have like a whole bias list. And I'm like, <laughs> Who are these people? Like, I was like, I don't even know. Like, you have to stand the boys. I was like, I don't even know. Who these Terica, Terica was like that meme of Childish Gambino, like, walking in like, what? To the fire. I don't know what with was the happening. Pizza. I still the don't know what's is, happening. Like, the thing is with the boys is I've literally been a fan of them since their debut. Since, like, it, since boy. Since the boys released the song yes. boy. Yeah, <laughs> so, we know. like. <laughs> Terica, you're right. <laughs> we do know. I'm talking to the listeners who may not know my story with the boys. I'm just saying. <laughs> From the beginning, I've wanted everyone to get into the boys. And I'd be like, yo, you guys have to, okay. And then it would just like, the conversation wouldn't go on. And I'm like, okay, fine. So at a point, I was just like, fine, like, whatever. Like, I'm just going to stand them by myself. And then at South by Southwest, I was like, oh, you guys. They had just had a comeback. They had just come back with a uh, bloom, bloom, pow, and I was like, "Y'all should get into a the bop. boys. Y'all should get into the boys." So I made the Kenzie and S- S- Cynthia, S- Kenzie and Carolina watch videos, and they were like, "Oh yeah, Kenzie, this is Kenzie's turning point. This is when she started standing the boys." I was like, "Yes, love that." Okay, she got deeper into them as time went on, but she was at least like, "You know what? I'm into this," and I was like, "Thank you, Queen." And then everyone else was still like, "No." And I was like, fine, you know what? I left it alone. And then they attacked me about my fandom name. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Dopey. But anyway, back to The Stealer. Great song. I love that it reveals the space between like darkness and love, and which is like the overall theme of the album. So 
it's yeah. like super good but the choreo like i said the live stage is amazing i was like oh yes juyun in that sleeveless t-shirt my man oh my showing God, his stop. chest with the headband on i was just like yes i'm here for all of this but the lyrics <laughs> they said we 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 taking you with us they said i'm the stealer going to the deepest part of your heart i was mm-hmm. like what all I can think about, I watched that music video like four times because at one point I blacked out and all I could think about was how <laughs> Juliana, I was just like, Juliana is a savage. I was like, I need to rewatch that part again. You're going to have to point so, him out to me. I don't know names yet, but I'm working on I it. I got you. Okay. Juliana, he's black hair, slick back, looks like he belongs in like a 70s greaser movie with like nice arms, he's so really hot. tall, small waist. Uh, mm. Okay, small okay, waist. okay. <laughs> Terika's like, so one of the ones that's in the group. <laughs> no, I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I want to say, I like, uh, what, hold up, Sunwoo's rap? Sun, Sunwoo? Yeah. Sun I like his rap. Sun-woo? Yes. I really like his rap style. That's it. That's yeah. what I want to say. Right. Everything about him is perfect. <laughs> you know what, too? In this, for the Steeler, Eric, Eric, like, he has a verse that he says something like addiction and something mission or something like that verse. I loved like how he did that. <laughs> this is what I get for not Bars. writing down like what lyric it was. It is an addiction. You are a difficult mission. Losing my mind. I'm trying to catch you. I said, yeah, hey, there you go. That calm that. down. And then the textured rap between him mm-hmm. and Sunwoo too. I was like, oh, yeah, I was like, yeah they were case. going off. I really like it. Like the And also the sound. boys co-wrote this song just so everybody yes. knows. Love that for them. Amazing. Beautiful. All of them or just Love some that. of them? All of them. Nice. Wait, I have another question. Um Kat, who's your bias? Sunwoo. Oh. I thought you liked the leader. No. Was it Sunwoo that was looking at and you're like, no, you can't like him. Yes, that's the Okay. Who. Well you, well you were like, oh, he's the leader. No. Oh. He's a lead rapper. <laughs> well, we know Cynthia's bias. I know. We know who Cynthia's looking at. So. <laughs> who? Just no. <laughs> who? Yeah. Sungwoo. Sungwoo Don't know. is my bias. <laughs> <laughs> I like his beauty. I'm just looking at him. But I'm still in my yeah. Kevin Lane. Thank you. That's what you said about Jay. <laughs> oh, I love Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. right. But and then she so took funny. him from under me, but it's fine. <laughs> I love that. What? She said she took it from under <laughs> me like he was a rug. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but there's some bias that you're like really like don't look at them, don't touch them, and there are other bias that you don't care about as much in that aspect. So Someone Jay was one of those <laughs> bias that you didn't care about in that aspect. <laughs> but anyways, the next song on the album is Insanity and Listen, just like the name sounds, this song My right here is song insane. On the album. They're kind of like continuing with that dark, cool sound. Um, mm-hmm. But this song really made me feel like that 007 type of shit. Like I was on like a very important yes. mission. I was just like, ooh, like we about to steal the Mona Lisa. Like, you know. <laughs> Literally wrote that down. 007. Yes. I, like, hey. I like the robotic sounds of it too. Yes. Lose my and then, mind. Dun, 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 Vocal Sun Woo Cat's man. I was like, oh, he can sing. Yes, he's a singer too. <laughs> bro. Oh, look at that. He multi talented and shit. What? Wow. I like on Maybe I have to check more into him. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> You said Yo. stand the boys. What if that's like my only way to stand the boys, Kat, and you're blocking me? Maybe that's the real reason. I, I just get, feel like Listen, I, every time you even try anything with me, I'm going to be like, I gave you my child, so <laughs> you get nothing from me. <laughs> you get literally Damn. no type of remorse or gladness. Not me. giving no one my child. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Anyway, so Insanity, my favorite song on the album, thanks yeah. for asking, Terika, is so good. And then the lyrics <laughs> are wow, crazy. Are crazy. Mind blowing. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Bitch, they said, <sighs> I'm already dangerous in an instant. I'll be painted all, all, all over with you. And I'm just like, bitch, what? You were just going to leave me there, barbecue sauce on my titties with this lyric? <laughs> like, I, was, I was reading this and I was like, are they saying. Are these lyrics right? This is one of the songs that gave me big Taman vibes because at the end it reminded yes. me of Danger. Um, this is my favorite. Oh god, I love this song. Sangyeon, Mr. Leaderman, ooh, has a lyric where he is like, 
the breath in me is getting rougher and i was like what yeah <laughs> like wait Ooh. yeah this song is hella I suggestive i was like you can't be saying things like that and then it was like i'm reflected in your eyes look at me properly look at you where sir i'm confused <laughs> like it reminds me of Carolina and her stupid meme. Which one? <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> disrespectfully. <laughs> That's how I felt reading all of these lyrics. I was just like, I am looking disrespectfully, Your Honor. I swear. <laughs> if you ask them, you know they're going to be like, oh, we were talking about running or like taking like a hit class or some shit like that. So it's like. Kevin is a Beyonce stan. I know. I know. <laughs> that he d- is not good. No, he's a Beyonce stan. He gonna be like, you heard partition, right? Just think about that side. Like, think about oh our God. side, but that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he would say. Kevin oh, lays it Kevin. all. Like, Kevin does not care. He he will tell you he how He really don't. If you watch most of the videos, like, on YouTube, if, if you look like compilations and it's just, like, the boys forgetting that they're idols, most of the time it's just Kevin. It's just Kevin talking shit. Him and Jacob together are the worst. Milk like, bag. if you guys watch, if they you guys watch the Canada Bro V Lives, like, I just be sitting there sometimes like, what? wait, like, y'all really just, <laughs> no. that came out of your motherfucking mouth? Like, I'm Stop. Stop. Yep. I just Stop. remember. I see, I see those compilations. If you have teeth in your butt. <laughs> oh my God. Besides oh my his God. amazing humor, his vocals and the song were on point. I would just like to highlight that. Thank you. Kevin and Jacob yeah. did really well this uh, album. Some who did amazing, you know, vocals. But Sanyon, Mr. Leader Man, I was oh, like, yeah. I was like, Okay, okay. He was throwing okay, it okay. down. Come he said, y'all forgot to print me in the album. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so but also a lyric from this that I need to talk about. Cute little sweet baby Q. I said. Oh, so that little tiny face boy. Yeah, yes, that's that tiny face boy, Mr. Chagman. Um, He's he so said, cute. with your hot hands, touch my cold heart. I said. Yes. I said. Oh, my God. First of all, we know you're not cold hearted. You're like the sweetest little cupcake in the world, but it's fine. I mean, you did a whole V live where you moved a milk carton up and down because it changed the saturation of the light on your computer, on your fucking phone screen. Like, Never forget, bro. <laughs> He's so cute. That shit was so cute. He was so confused. And then Young Hoon was like, your scent spreads inside of me. And I was like, you know what? I need to. Yeah. There's a lot happening. I need to with wrap it up because the song was it was too much. The bass in it, you know how I feel about bass. They were just doing it all in this song. They were just like, you know what? It's the middle of the album, aka like three songs in, not even. Yeah, three songs in. AKA Murder Cat. Like, let's it's time to kill them. Like we we got them. They listened to the first two. Third song, we killing them. The next song on the album, Whiplash. Not Whiplash that Young wrote about his sister, but another Whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is my favorite song off the album. Oh, my. Like I said, the boys brought a freshness like they do to every album. And this was the song. Whiplash was that, for me, the darkness, but the signature boy sound. The fun, yep. quirky. Yeah, it was not what I expected with the title, like, Whiplash. Yeah. I was thinking, like, ooh, what's this? And then it was just, like, <laughs> Same. fun. So this is how I thought, like, you know, going from insanity to whiplash, I was just like, oh, my God, they're right. going to go even harder now. Like, this is right. this is going to be like I'm in the pits of hell, like bathing with Satan or something like that's <laughs> like, that's this song. Bathing with Satan? <laughs> they're they're oh, like, what? get your mind out of the gutter. gutter. It's going to wow. be hot. And then I got in and I was just like, oh, this is like, it's like their poppy, like fun sound. It's still, yeah. you know, got yeah. that dramatic and like darkness to the song, but it's like more of their fun side, which so they're like bringing it back to that brighter, like the boys type of like, you know, music sound. But, yeah, it's funny yeah. that that's my favorite song instead of like the darker ones, which I usually love. Right. right? But like the fun, fresh song, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> What but a fun I love, song. Love yeah, but I love this song and and I love that it was like such a surprise for me again because what you expect. Like I was just again like expecting super dark mm-hmm. and then got more of their brighter and poppy sound and I loved it, but I just want to call out Mr. Kevin because uh, Kevin, why the hell are you out here like touch me all dramatic? Like excuse me? <laughs> like oh Yeah, God. that was a his bit. Heart? That was a bit much. He was channeling his inner Beyonce, y'all. You know, as soon as he step in the studio, he's like the B, he channels B. He's like, <gasps> "Okay, I'm the queen." You're and right. then that's when he does stuff like that. 
I mean, in this whole album, like Kevin Moon is just iconic. Like again, even people that don't know who about the boys much, they know who Kevin is. We love Kevin in this house. We do. Yeah. We do. He gonna be my best friend one day. You're right. You're right. Believe that. Although there was a lyric though that's like it becomes more intense the faster it goes, you'll feel the thrill. And I'm like, um, <clears throat> is this about speeding? <laughs> Speeding. It's about, yeah, speeding. <laughs> Speeding's against speeding. the law. Yeah. Speeding, that's exactly what it's about. Speeding, yeah. But, no, the the boys with this, like, comeback, they are bringing it. Because, really, like... I really love this yeah. song, too, because of, like, the texture in the song and, like, the melodies. And it was just, like, I don't know, it just made me happy. And then I read the mm-hmm. lyrics and I was like, oh. <laughs> Everything you do... Yeah, it was one of those I songs. I get whiplash. I'd be like, dang, okay, yeah. so I could just be walking down the street, whiplash. Oh, I just put my hair in a bun, whiplash. Oh, I just picked up my phone, whiplash. <laughs> Everything, whiplash. Everything. It's Everything. being so lost in love that it gives you whiplash. Yeah. just like, oh. I'm going to really try to get into the boys. So, like, I'm going to try yes, my Yes, Erica, hardest. this is the time. This is the time to do it. They're thriving. They're giving us sexy. They're giving us fun. They're giving us Juyan every time. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> So we all know who Carolina's bias is. <laughs> the thing that. is, like, she loves Hyun, but she be looking at Hyun, Hyun, and but she be looking at Hakyun too, and I'm oh, like, that's girl, not, you that's don't not... have to pick. No, I don't got to pick. What you talking about? I say <laughs> <laughs> I don't got to pick. I like his voice. He's, like, I noticed, like, a lot of the parts that I was listening to, I was like, who is that? And I would look, and it would be him highlighted. I was like, oh, I like his voice. He was in Produce, yeah. Terrible. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I like his voice. That's why I remember when the boys debuted because I was just like, oh my god, it's the baby from Produce. Like, and I needed to you remember oh the god, episode, yeah. Terika. You remember the episode wow. where they were doing like the tumbling and everything? Yeah. Yeah. He was the one that yeah, was flipping no. around like a little jumping bean. He was like, beep, 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 beep. That's him. That's yeah. Oh. That's why I've, I've I've always been staring at him at, too because like he's my he's been my baby and and he got cake and Carolina he does have cake. cake it's true <laughs> no but I have a feeling Carolina's just gonna Carolina's gonna be continuously torn between the two of them she ain't never gonna make a choice she's just gonna double yeah, bias that's I'm just fine. gonna double bias that that's that's it that's Libra culture but moving on then on the album our last song that we will be talking about on the album is make, make or break. Or- make or break and so this is what i thought was really cute for this album i thought that this was like a story like the whole thing is a story because it's like at first they're trying to steal your heart and be your man type Mm -hmm. of thing and then by the end you know by this song by make or break it's like you guys are together and you're all giggly and like holding hands and it's just like oh my god i can't believe all my dreams are coming true basically um but it's uh it's a very cute song very bright again so I thought they were going to continuously go darker and darker, but they like switched it up and like brought it back to their brighter sound. And mm-hmm. I loved it because it was like a like a change of pace. And, you know, like it's not what you expect. Yeah, I love this song. Besides Checkmate, since we're not going to go over that, since we've already talked about it, apparently. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I wasn't there for that. You <laughs> no, I love this song. So besides Checkmate, I think this is my favorite song because it just has like the old like boy band feel yeah. and like the snaps and the little ooze. I was like, I love this. I love like like Carolina says, it does feel like now we're holding hands and walking down the street to the soda pop yeah. shop to go share a <laughs> Coke and a milkshake. <laughs> it's so cute. Like, I'm trying to decipher, like, for my favorite song because it's between this or Insanity. And I'm just like, those are completely two different Love songs. Insanity. Yeah, like. yeah Insanity is a good song, though. But I think this one is, like, more my pace. Yeah, like Terika said, like, I love the beat in this, like, the sound, like, it just makes you happy yeah i honestly think this is what the boys do so well and now that they are maturing they're really good at this dark concept because they are great dancers Mm -hmm. and their performances are just insane like if you've watched them on road to kingdom or them doing any of their covers or any of their live stages in general like they just put on such a good performance so this like darker sound fits them really well but there's Mm -hmm. a special place in my heart for like the fun like pretty quirky music that they make and they're good at it they're so fucking good at making like good pop music which i think is why i like the boys so much because they make good fucking pop Mm -hmm. music 
And I'm just, I'm here for everything that this album gave me. I'm just like, yes, like, give me dark, give me sexy, give me cute, give me lovey, like, I, all of it in the span of five songs. Incredible, talented, oh my God, revolutionary. Yeah, the Love. album, like, it went by so fast. Like, when I was listening to it, next thing you know, it was over, and I was like, oh, I liked it. Like, I enjoyed it. I didn't know if I would, not because I don't like the boys. It's just, like, one of those things, like, like twice how I love twice but I don't know anything but their title songs. yeah so like I like the boys but I only know their title songs and I, I like I like their music but I haven't like I didn't like dive into like their discography so I was just like I don't know how I'm gonna feel about mm-hmm. this but like I liked it I enjoy the theme and I think that's why I like the whole dark thieves 007 kind of thing it's just their music is really good and their discography is really good and i still don't understand so why good. they why they hate bloom bloom pal because that that sounds a bot correct their whole discography is really good and i know like their cuter stuff isn't for everyone but i can promise you it's only the title tracks that they've released in the beginning that were cute because if you listen to their b-sides they had this really pop r&b vibe to them like dreamlike oh my god that's one of my favorite boys albums it's Mm -hmm. it has dance 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 as the title track and obviously people have mixed feelings about dance 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 even i do like it comes on and i bop but i i don't actively go out and listen to dance 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 that's but it is like it's good like i don't I don't hate it, but I don't love it. You know, it was one of those yeah, things yeah, where I was yeah, like, yeah. okay. It's like if but it comes the, on, you of- listen to it, but you don't go actively looking for it. I got you. Exactly. But the rest of that album is so good. Like, it's so good. And I'm like, you know what? The boys are one of those groups that, like, even if, like, their title track isn't for you, the rest of their album will have something you like. Yeah. Like, I promise. But, yeah, but it was, like, they're just all around there. And, I mean, you could see that in, like, in Road to Kingdom. And, you know, we're not... The other song on the album is Checkmate, which is what they did <gasps> on Road to so Kingdom. Good. And Love we've talked song. about it before because we were watching the show and just their performance skills and like choreography and how talented and like creative so they are. Like you could to this day, I'm just like, you know what? You're right. They like they deserve that number one spot. Like they deserve it so much. Like they went all out. Even though they did all of that in Kingdom ain't even going to happen. You, you know, know it's fine. It's fine. let's let's not talk about it. I'm still it's sad. Fine. So it's, like, definitely, like, not going to happen, like, well, at all? Well, we haven't heard any other news about it. <laughs> so at yeah. this point, I'm just going to think it's not happening. <laughs> so I don't get my hopes up and that it's not happening. But, yes, stand the boys. Stand the boys. Be a bee. This be album is bee. incredible. Don't be so. surprised. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. Maybe my problem is I'm trying to stand the boys. Maybe I should just, like, let it flow. See what happens. Also, I feel like Terika Loki is going to like Q a lot because, you know, she actively mentions him. Yeah. Just saying. Is that the tiny face yeah. one? Yes. She actively he's mentions so cute. him. <laughs> he and is so And I think she's kind of, he's kind of right up her alley. So. I think so, too. He's precious. I just want to, like, squeeze him, but I don't want to break him because he's so precious. He's so tiny. <laughs> he's so he's cute. He's not that small. He's actually really long and tall. <laughs> But he's long and small, isn't he? Like, his face is real small. <laughs> his face I'm gonna is I'm going to need tiny. the rest of him to be small, too, or that's going to be weird. <laughs> Have you not seen him? <laughs> I've only seen his tiny face. I don't really pay attention to anything else. <laughs> I know he's a great dancer. That's what caught my eye. I was like, who is this? And then he, like, showed his little face. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Stand the Boys, Checkmate, another good song. It's the last song on the album we ain't going to talk about. But if you watch Road to Kingdom, you know this song was fire flames like yes chef's kiss period kevin they have a comedic genius on their on their group kevin Ooh, kevin <gasps> kevin moon i'm gonna have to you know marry kevin for my brand that's it you're right <laughs> oh, oh my god just for the brand for my brand yes that was our album review make sure you check out the boys album chase watch their live performances just love them vote for them on music shows Go watch yes. crack videos of them because they're so funny. Um, so we're going to end with our songs of the week. Um, it's probably no surprise what my song of the week is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Song of the week are like 12 songs by the boys. I won't name them all, but I'm just going to say the boys entire discography. But for the playlist that we put on Spotify, I will say insanity. And also Everglow's La Di Da has been on repeat. Oh like my God. No yes. one cannot believe. Yeah. I love that song so much and just yes ever glow ever glow forever let's go hey anyway love that song yeah those are my <laughs> songs of the week 
my songs of the week. Um, the first one is Bullet to the Heart by Jackson Wang. Hey. Um, a bop, in case you forgot. And my second song of the week is May Day by Victon. <laughs> amazing a bop as well <laughs> duh and my one song of the week is hero because i am in my raven feels extra hard lately i miss him oh okay well my first song of the week is deep in love by day six um, yes love that it's my favorite freaking day six song like i never get tired of listening to the song and it just does something to my soul and my heart each and every time like i love Feel that it. song yeah um my second song of the week is not technically a K-pop song because it's from their Japanese album, Ooh. but uh, it's Red Velvet's "Cause Cause It's You." I really like their Japanese album. I thought it was super cute. And my NCT song of the week is also not really a song. It's just the clip, the audio I've been playing over and over in my head of Taeyong going NCT and they go assemble and then she's like, oh! <laughs> there you go. Keep that in your soul. Like it just warms my heart. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. Um, so for my songs of the week, honestly, I've been listening to the boys album a lot this week. It's really, really good. So I'll say that. Um, and then I've been listening to a lot of IU. So just to say a song, I would say Palette. Oh, okay. With G Dragon. And yes. um Yeah. Um, so whether you are um, actively obsessed with the new Boys album, actively obsessed with the new Everglow album, which I am too. Like, oh, so good. album is so good. Make sure you always, always fangirl, fangirl on. on.